Hello everyone, welcome back to another PriceyP Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over what you should do if you have a global leaderboard inside your game. We're going to use Pebble Heaven as an example because Pebble Heaven has a lot of global leaderboards. Here we have three different global leaderboards and there's another one in the back, so there's four all together. Now let's play and take a look, see what happens. So you can see that um, I only have two names in the middle board and all the other boards are empty. And I expected to see a lot more names on the board because I know for a fact that a lot of people played this game before. So what's going on? Let's go back to the script. Actually, before we go back to the script, let's open up the output window and take a look. There is an error message inside the output window. So on this line here, we're trying to get the username from the user ID and it crashes for some reason. So now let's go back to the script. Here we are inside the script. So this is where I'm loading that leaderboard, the one in the middle. And I'm getting the database, which is the data store right here. And the, the data store is going to return a page with multiple entries. So I'm parsing through those entries right here. Each entry is going to contain two different values. The first value is the user ID, which I'm going to use to get the username right here. The second entry is the points, which I'm going to just display on the board. So this is where we're displaying the, the points on the board. And this is where we're displaying the username on the board. And exactly this is where it crashed. So what we want to do is we want to put in a print statement to see why it crashed. So I'm gonna print entry dot key, I believe. Yeah, entry dot key. So that's the user ID. So normally the user ID is just a bunch of numbers, right? So let's play again and let's take a look. So here we are, and it printed the user ID as a negative two. So for whatever reason that when the user played this game before, it recorded a user ID, a real user ID, and whatever reason it turned to a negative number, I don't know, but it did. Anyway, so I don't really care how the user ID has turned from a regular user ID into a negative number. The thing that we care about right now is to fix our code so that it can handle that situation. So what we want to do is instead of just calling this function, we want to put it inside a P call. So I'm going to insert a P call here. I'm going to say local success comma name equals to P call function. And we're going to move this inside the, uh, the P call. Actually, we're just going to return this value. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to say return here and I'll paste it here. So basically, this value here is going to be returned into this variable if the call is successful. If the call is not successful, then this flag here is going to be false. So success is going to be true if it is successful and then you get the value of this, which is the player's name, is going to be loaded into this variable. If this is false, means it's not successful. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to need to monitor this, this success flag here. So I'm going to come down here. So we don't need this anymore. We don't need to load the name into this because we got it from up here. But we're going to need to check to see if success then. So basically, if it's successful then we want to load these two values right we want to load the name into this text label and we want to load the value which is the score into the second text label but else otherwise what we want to do is i'm just going to copy this and i'm going to paste it down here let me move this here this should say else else I want to load 
instead of loading the name into this text label, I'm just going to load none. But I'm still loading the score. So whatever score is inside the, the, the data store is going to be loaded in. The only thing we could not get is the name because the player's user ID has a negative number. And if you try to get the name for that negative number user ID, it's going to crash your code. And then everything else after it is going to be stop like it's not going to process anything else after we're just going to need an n if here and that's all let's play and take a look all right so you can see there is no more error message we can close this window now and let's go and take a look at the boards so there we go we now all the boards has been loaded you have a none here so it means somebody got a negative number there another none here there's another negative number there another one here so for some reason all the people who have tested this game before their user id has turned to negative i'm not really sure why this this is another one this is another one and we got three names over there so anyway so at least now we have all the names and all the scores on the boards we just cannot get the names of those that have negative user ids guys so that is something that you need to do if your game has a global leaderboard and you are using data stores to store the user IDs in it. Thank you all for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care, everyone.